there, welcome to the Wonder Zone. My name is Kelsey Enderly and I am a manager of public programs here at the Cincinnati Museum Center. I manage our museum camp program and museum camps are for kids in grades kindergarten through eighth and our programs that we do over the summer, we do them in the winter and spring as well. So when school is out, museum camps are in. And this is an activity that we do in our dinosaur camp as well as our paleontology camp. So we're making trace fossils today and we're going to start with a salt dough. And so salt dough is really easy to make. You have about a cup of flour, a cup of salt, and then also about a cup of water too. So I really like salt dough because it is just made from flour, salt, and water. So it's super easy to make and it's non-toxic. So it's, we're gonna kind of make a Play-Doh consistency here. So I'm just gonna start by dumping my flour right into my mixing bowl. And then I'm gonna add about half of the salt at first. Um, I might add a little bit more depending on how sticky it is a little bit later, but that should do it for now. And then I'm just gonna mix this up with my rubber spatula and get it all kind of combined. And then I'm gonna add my water slowly. And again, in camps, this is something that we do all as a big group so the kids really get to have their hands in this. And this is something great to do at home with little ones or you can make them in big batches because this will actually make quite a lot of dough um, and you can, you know, split it up however you need to. I'm gonna add some more water. I really do want it to be kind of like a Play-Doh, almost like a pizza dough consistency. So not very sticky, uh, but definitely pliable so that we can roll it up. And really the best way to mix this dough, you can use a rubber spatula, but I'm gonna use my hands because that's the best way to get it all combined. And this is a great sensory activity to do with kids as well. So we're gonna add some more salt in there too. There we go. Get it all mixed together. All right. So now we have it. You can kind of see the consistency here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll it into a ball. And I just took a, uh, maybe a meatball size chunk out of there and I'm rolling it up and then I'm gonna kind of smush it into a pancake so that it's flat. And you want it to be, uh, you don't want it to be too thick, um, but you also don't want it to be super thin either because we're gonna press some dinosaur feet into here. And so this comes to kind of our trace fossil part of this activity. So we've made our salt dough, which I'm gonna set to the side now. And now we're gonna put it I'm gonna put it flat here on the wax paper. And now we're gonna make a trace fossil. So trace fossils are a little bit different than a fossil that you might think of. So a fossil that you might think of is a bone from an animal. So trace fossils are evidence that animals once lived, like footprints or tunnels, um, but it's not the actual bone. It's not the body fossil. It's more evidence that they were here in the past. So here we have a few different dinosaurs. I've got a sauropod, a pachycephalosaurus, and an allosaurus, and I'm gonna take their feet and we're gonna make imprints here on the trace fossil. So I'm gonna take their feet first and I'm gonna dip them in some flour just to prevent them from sticking into our dough. And then we're gonna make tracks as if he was walking through and left tracks there. Right there. So you can see him here. You can see the tracks there. And now you can let this dry for a couple days. Uh, you can also bake it in the oven and that'll help dry it quicker. So if you bake it around 350 for about 20 minutes or so, it'll help it. And you won't wanna bake out on the wax paper. You don't wanna put it on parchment paper for baking. Um, but you can also just let it dry out for a couple days. Uh, these are also great to make. Uh, I like to take leaves and make impressions with them in our salt dough. And you can also put a hole in them and then hang them up as an ornament or something to decorate your house with to a very fun craft. Thanks for stopping in at the Wonder Zone. I hope you guys all come visit our museum camp program this summer and stop back again for more Wonder Zone videos every week.